Oh, so this is great. So this is awful now. So I'm dead. I'm going to have to kill myself very soon. I don't have an option. Um, oh, I feel ill because I was promised all these lies now. It's been terrible. So first of all, I finally get a legal aid solicitor. Not a proper one, just this woman who comes back and meant to help me. And she says I should sort out a hotel by the end of the day and I trust her. Because I'm stupid, aren't I? Anyway, she rings me at the end of the day to say she's got bad news. But they refuse to give me anything because I am now off their books. That means I have to sleep rough forever. Okay, yeah, I'm off their books because I refuse to be raped by heroin addicts in a shed drenched in urine. So because I refuse their accommodation, I have to sleep outside. God. Anyway, so it's just outrageous. She, she agreed it was outrageous, but she can't do anything. Her hands are tied. So I was suicidal and I called 111 because somebody told me to. And on the bus, so I did and they were very nice and they got a doctor to call me back a student one and he was really really nice okay really nice anyway he said he had to get a senior doctor to speak to me because he was only a student i said don't worry we'll sort something he said today you won't be on the streets you shouldn't be in this position it's disgusting they're disgusting we'll help you the senior doctor rings back it's nothing to do with us i knew it wouldn't be and more or less, he doesn't want me on their books. Because now, he knows I'm homeless, I have become scum overnight. Because that's the way it works. Because if you're homeless, that means you are either on drugs, alcohol, or being to prison. Because that's the law of being homeless. So because I don't, and I haven't been, I don't fit the criteria, so I'm not going to get any help. So I cannot get a key worker or a social worker because I'm not coming off heroin. So I'm not on any program to come off heroin. I am not on any other drugs either. And I am not an alcoholic and I've not got any criminal convictions at all. Not even a parking ticket because I don't drive. So I mean as clean as you can get. So I can't get any help because I don't fit the criteria because people of my calibre are never homeless. Oh no, because they have family who will look after them you see, but I don't. Because the only family living is my mother who's in a nursing home and I have zero family alive because it's a very, very small family. She was an only child, I'm an only child. It's just like that. So I'm fucked, basically. There's no other way to put it, I am fucked. So I've either got to make a choice of how I kill myself, whether I throw myself onto the track, whether I throw myself off the top of a bridge, anything that's quick, because I've tried to slit at my wrist and it's not working because every time I try and pick it, I can't go through with it. And there's no other way. I'm not taking tablets because that'll only make me sick. It won't kill me. Um, if you can think of something, let me know. Because my email address is pinkbabybutton6 at gmail.com. Because I'm sure somebody on here will think of something. Because nobody wants to help me, positively. But I'm sure you'll think of a way how I can kill myself. That's more likely to come up on here. The type of people that are on here, to be honest. I'll be glad to get out of it. The thought of being dead is amazing. It's like there's no more suffering, no more hate being thrust upon me, no more demeaning um, people talking down to me like I'm rubbish when I'm not, and everything, and being so cruel to me while I'm crying and they're laughing, and all the evilness that's been going on, and all the gossiping and talking behind my back, and you all know who you are, and you will all be responsible for my death, and you know who you are. So let's hope karma hits a lot of you. Chester West Council mm -mm. big time because you lot have been absolutely corrupt you've treated me appallingly leaving me to sleep outside when I'm severely disabled and very ill it's wicked what you've done this is housing options team at Chester West Council and this for future movement who are on drugs themselves because I saw them passing drugs or the homeless person passed drugs to them and money was shared and this was outside Rooms Hotel in Chester Racecourse and they were doing drugs there last summer. And these are meant to be people working for the council. So that's absolutely appalling. And I witnessed it and saw it. Then I was lied to by the council. And this was over a year ago in November. A woman called Beverly. Oh, she promised me. She said to me, we found you a brand new, new build, 
flat do you want it i said yes i'll take it i don't care where it is just put me down i'll take it you promise to keep it she said i promise and those were her words and then with the lockdown in november i was put into rooms i i was thrown out in june that was another thing they did i was booked up to the end of june which i think was a friday roughly so on the monday morning they ring me at nine to tell me i have to come out within the hour i have to pack up my stuff to go and sleep with heroin addicts within the hour this is what they've done to me it's corrupt and then i checked with the people in the hotel and they said oh no you're booked up till friday she said but then they were covering their backs as well I don't know what was going on there. There was a, a collaboration of bullying going on and it was serious and it's not been looked into because I've left and they've struck it under the carpet. And I want to find out about this. Investigations ought to be carried out to find out, to get to the bottom of why was I thrown out. Was it because the council wanted me, didn't want me to stay anywhere decent? Or was it all to do with this Yamilla woman who had a vendetta against me? This needs looking into further. And it will not be dropped because I am going to be looking into it further. There's lots of things I'm going to be looking into further. Because there's one thing on here that people forget about me. I am not stupid. No. I might be naive and gullible and vulnerable. And not able to defend myself where people walk over me. But I'm not as stupid as I, I look. Remember that. So you will not have heard the end of me. And if you do kill me, if things get too much, you will not hear the end of that either. Because there's a man who's going to release all sorts of information on the council once I die. So there. Proof of how badly I've been treated. By Chester West Council, who are corrupt, by the way. I'm telling you the truth. Because I come on here telling the truth and they hate the truth. They don't want the truth. Because all the people they're dealing with are heroin addicts. And heroin addicts don't know what's going on. Plus they can say, oh, they're lying, they're heroin addicts. They've been to prison. Don't ignore them. Don't ignore a thing they say. And they're lying. We're perfect. We're doing our job properly. I don't think so. Now this Beverly woman, whoever she was, didn't have the confidence to ever confront me again over that. Because it was sheer lies. Because I inquired about that when they showed me that derelict bungalow. And I said, well, why wasn't I shown this new flat? And they said, oh, that went long ago. But I said it was promised to me. So I thought it was being built because of the lockdown last November. Remember the number of the 5th when everything got shut down a year ago, over a year ago now. And Boris Johnson says, we're locking all the hotels down, everything. And that was it, yeah. And they were going to leave me sleep rough. Chester West Council were going to leave me sleep outside. And then Shelter stepped in because this Chinese man at the railway station got hold of Shelter for me. And we went on the phone. This wonderful man in shelter, really posh man, really decent guy. I think he used to be a solicitor, proper man. Stepped up for me. And I can remember it happened in a blur. Contacted the council, put me in safe accommodation. And that's how it went from there. And then I was promised this before I went in there. And before the lockdown. And I was excited because I thought, I don't care what area. It's new. I can settle. It's brand new. No one's died in there. There's no mankiness. I can settle because I've got severe OCD. And Beverly, this is the woman's name from Four Future Movement. Well, all of those are on, well, lots of them are on, I'm not heroin, I don't know whether it's heroin, or ecstasy, or goodness knows what. I don't know anything to do with drugs. I think it could be marijuana. I don't know what they were on. But they were all smoking a funny smell outside rooms last summer. That's all I'm saying. And that was not cigarettes that were being smoked out there. And they weren't just being smoked by the heroin addicts, the homeless people. They were being smoked by the movement called Four Futures. Because I smelt it, and I'm not stupid. Because I know exactly what that smell is. Because I was told, oh, it's weed, it's marijuana, by a woman in a lift in Liverpool. Because these lads were doing it all the time in the park with hoods. And they go like this with the hoods, you know, walking past you. And they've got long hair. And, they're... and I said, what is that smell? I said, it's weird, it's not like cigarettes. And she said, oh, no, that's weed, that's marijuana. That's what Four Futures were smoking outside the building. And they're meant to be working for Chester West Council. So you can see what corrupt movement that we're dealing with. So anyone who can help me, please do. Because I'm a decent person. And I'm coming on here because I'm telling the truth. And they hate the truth. Because the truth scares them. Because they're liars all the way through. Through and through, they're rotten. And I'm not. And I'm good and I'm honest. And I'm saying the truth. Because I've got no, no reason to not come out and tell the truth. Why should I hide it when no one's helping me? I am on here all the time determined trying to get that one person that will help me before I have to kill myself. It's not as if I've not given myself every opportunity because I have. 
I'm working hard day and night for somebody to help me. I've on all the helplines, I've tried everything and nobody's helping me at all. They're very nice people on um, Samaritans and Shelter because they're charities, but they can't do anything. And this is the point because it's up to the corrupt council. Now they say I'm not on their books anymore and I have to sleep rough permanently. They told the solicitor there was another movement apparently that come out to you. And this homeless man told me all about that. So what you have to do is you have to lay down from midnight till 6 a.m. on eight consecutive nights. And then they come out to look at you, to prove that you are homeless, even though they know I'm homeless. And then they do a report, and all they give you at the end, he said, is a hostel where you have to share with, a, with some other person. It might not even be a female, who's obviously been released from prison, who is high on drugs. And that's the type of calibre that will be sleeping next to me in a room. I don't think so somehow. I, I think that jumping off a tall building is much more appealing. Much more appealing. Because I'm driven to the point of desperation where I'm losing it now. I'm going insane. Nobody has, has left a finger to help me. And I am reaching out for constant help. And nobody's done a fucking thing to help me. So I'm going to take matters into my own hands. And that is by ending it all and taking my own life. And I will be doing it very soon. But I would be grateful if somebody would help me. But I don't think there is anybody, to be honest. But if there is, it'd be great. And you can contact me. I'm not giving my phone number out here because the trolls will just give me nonsense. So there's such evil people out there who want me to die all the time. They love it when Clara and I and Flack died. This is the type of people who celebrate things like that. So what I want is, my email is pinkbabybutton6 at gmail.com. Pink the colour, baby, button like on a coat or dress, the number six like that, at gmail.com. And you can give me any help or advice. Please, I want to be reported to a newspaper. I'm willing to be interviewed by anyone, anyone who can help me. Please contact me. Uh, I'm thoroughly desperate. I'm willing to travel anywhere in the country. If someone will interview me, put me on a newspaper, put me on the radio, do anything you like with me because I'm desperate now. Thank you very much. I really, really hope that the right person out there will help me. If there is a God out there, there will. Because I don't know. I like to believe in angels. And that Jesus guy sounds lovely. Because they did terrible things to him. We seem to have a lot in common. But the thing is, I don't know. I don't honestly know. So please get back to me. Thank you.